Hey guys, it's Bethany and I'm very excited to bring you guys this video. This is going to be a collab video with seven other amazing women here on YouTube. If you've been a subscriber to me for a bit, you know that in the past I did this awesome traveling makeup box with Kristen Kay who had created it and several of the women that were in that collab are also going to be part of this collab. And since a lot of people that I adore here on YouTube are doing project pans and decluttering videos, I thought it would be really Really great to do another one of those kind of traveling makeup swaps um, with some amazing people here that are wanting to do some major decluttering of their makeup and they're doing project pans so they're on shopping freezes and so kind of a fun little swap so that you get to have some products that you add into the box that didn't work for you or you know you just don't really use too much and then are able to kind of get some products out from other people that you know you can kind of really enjoy and it's kind of like shopping without having to spend any money so I thought it would be a really fun idea to do it I did a whole decluttering series here on my channel and I do a bunch of project pans just because I think it's so much fun to go through and use up products as well as go through our makeup collections and really kind of slim it down a little bit to products that you just really adore and love. So I have a bunch of products. I'm going to be starting the traveling box. have a bunch of very lightly used products as well as some new products. So to kind of give you a little bit of an overall of what this is going to be is I went through a bunch of products added it into the box. I'm going to sanitize everything and all these products if they are used are very lightly used. So I've only used them a few times or I've only swatched them. They're not things have been in my collection for you know a really long time and I've almost finished it. These are things that are basically brand new um, and we're going to sanitize everything. We're getting products in there that you can definitely sanitize or that are brand new so it doesn't matter. So we're not putting like lip glosses that have been used, you know, that have been dipped back into the container, things of that nature. So a lot of things that you can just spray with alcohol and sanitize and someone else can really enjoy. I'll have everyone's channel listed down below, so make sure and check out everyone and make sure you check it out as each girl gets their box and then they can show what they're going to grab out of it and what they're going to add back into it. We're wanting to add in things that are about equal value, so if you're adding in a, you know, Urban Decay eyeshadow, putting something in there that's in the same value range. We're doing high-end as well as drugstore products and it'll just be really fun to see how things end. When I get the backs at the very end, I'll pick out some things that I want to kind of use and add to my collection and everything else um, will go over to my church. They do this really awesome thing for mothers every year. So I'll donate all of the rest of the stuff over there. So I hope I got all of the really good <laughs> information on here. If you are a project panner or you're someone who declutters, I think it would be awesome for you and another YouTuber to get together and do a swap of your guys' products of things that you kind of want to declutter from your collections or doing a traveling makeup box like this as well with other YouTubers I think would be fantastic. If you do that, please let me know down below because I would love to check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just show everything that I'm going to add to the box and I haven't sanitized everything everything yet but I will do that so no worries on that. So I'll start with the palettes. I'm going to add in there this Tokidoki palette and I have only used a couple of the shadows just a couple times. So it's as you can see it's basically brand new. So that's what I say when it comes to very lightly used products. And then I'm going to add in this in here. This is the uh, Violet Lips. I have two of those in here so I thought this would be kind of fun. Maybe someone would enjoy that for you know, Halloween or something that's coming up. I'm going to add in here the Balm Rockstar palette, the Balm Jovi. This is something as well that I have only very lightly used. Only lightly used the shadows and I didn't use the lip products whatsoever. So those are brand new. This Star Looks palette I'm going to add in here. This is a really, really pretty palette. There's a bunch of fun colors in there. So I think this would be really pretty for someone to pick up. And I only used a few of the shadows a couple times. This Urban Decay palette, this is, which one is this one? Does that say Beauty with an Edge? Is that what it's called? Um, and 
And this is what it looks like. Again, only used a couple of the shadows a few times, so we'll sanitize this. And then this little lip gloss in here has never been used. I'm adding two NYX glitters. I think they're just so pretty, and maybe someone will be able to pick this up and find a fun look to use it with. I'm adding both of these cute little Hello Kitty palettes. This one here is going to be the Paris one, and it's got some beautiful purples. And then it's got a really pretty pink blush. And then this one here, which is a Hello palette. This has got some really great neutrals and some greens and two really pretty highlighters. If you're gonna do one of these swaps, just for the heads up, make sure and package it really well because a lot of you know these products are very fragile, so you wanna make sure and pack it. I'm adding two Tokidoki eyeshadows. This one is Audio Star and this one is Samba. This is a really pretty glittery black. And then this one is a really nice kind of white satin. I have this J Cat single. This is flying solo in half naked. Really pretty peachy satin shadow. I have this Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics uh, pigment and this is in Katura. and I only have used this a couple times and how I used it is I used it wet so I just kind of dumped a little bit on my, um, what is that called, my hand <laughs> and then I just spritzed it with MAC Fix Plus and applied it so I didn't actually put my fingers in here or a brush in here so that's why I'm going to pass off this loose pigment. I'm going to put this Estila blush. This is the custom color blush in pink and it's very vibrant when you look at it. It's shocking but it's one of those ones that you lightly put on your cheeks and that's supposed to kind of make the most perfect pink flush on your um, skin tone and kind of match to it so I thought this would be a fun one to add in there. This Hot Mama blush by The Balm. Really, really pretty. Really, really like it a lot. So I'm going to add that in there. Just doesn't really work for my skin tone, but it's so pretty. This Insteen one by The Balm. This is in the Argyle. Another beautiful, beautiful pink. These blushes are so pretty. This is brand new. This is by City Color, and it's called White Gold. And I guess it's like a cream eyeshadow. Never used that. And now we'll get into the lip products. So some lip products that I have used a couple times. These are by Sweet Pea and Faye. And they're kind of, I guess, like the um, lip tar. They're just super thick, super pigmented, and they're very pretty colors. I just don't tend to use them. I'll go ahead and sanitize the tip and make sure that they're really clean and sanitized, but when I did use them, I put a uh, brush to them just because they're so pigmented, you kind of need a brush with them. So they're fairly sanitized anyway, but I will make sure and extra sanitize them. I have this NYX Lip Butter and I only use this once and I will go ahead and kind of wipe it off and sanitize it as well. And it was just too light for me and this was in the color Lollies. I have this Mary Kay Lipstick in Rosette and I love the packaging is kind of cool. And um, only used it a couple times. I will go ahead and sanitize this as well. So it's almost brand new. And then these are all new. So I have this Stila Yumberry Crush. This is a lip and cheek stain and as you can see hasn't been used. This one is still in the packaging. This is the Skin Twin Set. It's a Collagen Boost Lipstick and Wet Lip Gloss. Looks like a pretty color especially for the spring and summer. I have a couple backups of these, so I was like, I need to throw this in here. This is the Revlon Lip Butter in 2D Fruity, a beautiful orange, great for the summer. This Mary Kay Lip Gloss, um, an Icicle, just kind of a really pretty one that would be great as a top coat, brand new. And then this Julep Mavian Lip Gloss, this is a beautiful one for the spring and summer as well. This is in Poppy. Such a pretty color. I've got a couple backups of these as well because they were on super sale. And so that's one of my things too. I'm just like, you've got too many backups of things. This is why this swap is so fantastic. So those are all the products that I'm going to add to the box. Everyone's going to be taping uh, their videos. So again, just make sure and look out for them. Go subscribe to their channel so you know when they'll get the box. 
and I hope you guys do this uh, swap as well with other project panners, other declutterers, and just friends on YouTube. Well, I think it's going to be a really fun swap. Uh, push the like button if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the swap that I didn't answer on here, definitely leave them down in the comments down below and I'll answer them. Um, any other questions you may have if you're going to do this kind of swap in the future with some other friends. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the ladies and I will see you guys in one of my next videos. Bye!